from the expo. They've been hanging out with us, yep. enjoying our conversation this morning. We got Becky Long and Bo Sutherland here. Uh, well, and of course, we'll, we'll get to the important business of yeah. breaking down the expo here shortly. Yeah. But um, Bo, I, well, let me ask you just really: yeah, Have you ever yeah. put peanuts in your coat? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I have to. I have to, brother. I have to. In the bottle. You've never, in the bottle, never right? Because I've never done it. Yeah. Oh, wow. No, I've never done that. Yeah, you get your little Tom's, your little uh, bag of Tom's peanuts, yeah. yep. and you just pour them down in the the, the, <laughs> the, the bottle, a glass bottle. Okay, yeah. perfect. On the front porch. <laughs> That's right. It has to be on the front porch, yeah. Uh, but we are we're continuing our uh, our soda conversation just real quick before we bounce into the uh, the expo. Um, we're asking our viewers out there a question today: uh, name to name their favorite underrated soda. So sometimes you know, I, mm-hmm. I think, like Dr Pepper's getting its due now, right after yeah. decades. That's right. Uh, but no, it's no probably longer. probably an underrated soda for a long, long time. Uh, still may be underrated, still may be underrated in my mind. Okay, but yeah, because but, it's not number one. But yeah, yeah. Uh, but we're asking folks out there on Facebook to uh, to chime into our question of the day, name an underrated soda. Mm-hmm. But if they're not watching, they can hit our text machine, which uh, we'll be able to see eventually. I've got it charging, okay. so we'll be able to see that eventually. <laughs> right. It's 502-353-0233. Like all of us, we got to charge our batteries from time uh-huh. to time, yeah. as the text machine needs to as well. Yeah, anything you guys want to talk about on top of that. Yes. Uh, Zach, do you have an underrated soda? An underrated soda? I don't know. I mean, I think around these parts, uh, you know, we all love our LA one. And so I think that might be an under uh, one that like I, cause I don't, I don't read uh, in my heavy, like, I don't drink a ton of soda mm-hmm. and, and, mm-hmm. you know, like Ted a, as much as I used to as a yeah. kid, of course. Yeah. Uh, but I, that's one that like, I get a craving for one of the few ones that I do is, is the yeah. like an LA. LA polarizing. I feel really, you know, you, you love it or maybe you, you, or you hate it. Okay. Uh, it, Obviously cherished here in in the bluegrass. That's state. what I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah like maybe not underrated here in Kentucky and central yes. Kentucky, but yeah. yeah. But I know lots of people who have moved out of the state have people like ship it to them. And, yes. And oh yeah, like that. for sure. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll name one real quick. Uh, I'll go with Boylan's. Boylan's a little kind of boutique uh, okay. soda. Their their black cherry. Uh, soda Boylan's is fantastic, and if you ever see it on a, I think you can get it at Kroger. You see it on the shelf there, even at the dollar store. I saw it at the dollar store the other day. Okay, grab a black cherry yeah. Boylan's. Uh, Jones soda? No, I'm not oh, down like Jones, it? the no. Jones brand. Okay, I thought you were. I don't know why I thought you were. Yeah, I'm not a Jones, Jones guy. Okay. But. They have a lot of different flavors. I'm, I'm quite the connoisseur when it comes to soda. You know, <laughs> Harvey's got his craft brews and that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, you know, soda I'm a little kid, yeah, and, yeah. and I like my sodas. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, well, we can ask our guests. Yeah. Becky, uh, I know you, we, we mentioned it to you before we went live, and I know you've had a chance to think about it for a little bit, but what about you? What's, a, yeah. what's an underrated soda? Well, first, I am a pepper, too. I love my Let's diet. Go. Let's go. I love my diet, Dr. Pepper. Um, but one that is completely, I, I forgot about it for a few years, and I rediscovered it recently, and it's kind of like my go-to besides diet, Dr. Pepper, and that's Fresca. Oh, Fresca. interesting. Okay. Yeah. Like an orange... Yeah, it's it's like a grapefruit, grape. citrusy like, oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. drink that like squirt. It's refreshing. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> like squirt. squirt. Yeah. <laughs> it's like squirt, but you know, uh-huh. I mean, it, you can't it's find pretty squirt refreshing. everywhere. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah no, and, and Fresca, you know, you got to kind of look for it. Mm-hmm. Either yeah. they have it or they don't, but that that's one of my new favorites. Okay, so sometimes the best things are you know you gotta yeah. you gotta dig for it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Bo, what about you? What what comes to mind? I growing up was Big Red. Um, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But as I got older, L8. Um, okay. L8's good when you put it in the freezer and get it nice. And so big, oh, yeah. <laughs> big Red's a, a red cream soda, right? So it's like Yeah, it's kind of got a cherry taste to it. Yeah, so I guess oh, it's a cream okay. soda with a little bit of cherry, I guess, is yeah. what that is. Yeah. Um, do either of you do uh, RC? I, I did, we, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Uh-huh. Not as much now, but yeah, uh-huh. it's definitely growing up. Do you RC remember it well enough to rank it between Coke and Pepsi? If you, Well, I mean, yes, I do. I mean, because growing up, that's all my mom and dad would have it. in the house is uh-huh. RC. Yeah, yeah. And um, so if I had to choose, I'm going to say this. If yeah. it was between RC and Coke. Yeah. 
I'm going to disappoint Coke uh, Zero. Sorry. Coke, okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. Coke both of like both of you go with Coke above RC. Yeah. yeah. I, know, Sorry. I know some people that will go RC above all all the uh, Coke and Pepsi. Anyway. Yeah, I've heard that before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Should we talk Expo? I think we should get to the important yeah. business of yeah. Expo. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's uh, starting off on Friday uh, at 10 a.m., right? Yes, sir. Yeah. So let's get into it a little bit. It's uh, it's Friday and Saturday. It'll be the 51st anniversary. Wow. Expo. It will. It will be. Hard to believe, but true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My second year. Yeah. <laughs> we won't talk about how many years I've been. <laughs> getting close to the big 20 here yeah. on that one. But. So what can, it, what can folks expect to see at the Expo this year? Gosh, quite a bit. Bo, you want to share a little bit of that? Yes, sir. Or yes, With ma'am. <laughs> we got, um, it's considerably bigger from last year. Um, we've got uh, roughly about 78 um, booths or vendors, um, food trucks. We've got more food trucks this year than we had last year. We definitely got more arts and craft vendors than last year. But last year was our first year and people were mm-hmm. filling us out. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. it was such a success. Word got out. We've got 18 local businesses that, or arts and crafters that's going to showcase their um, goods this weekend, we've got over 25 counties represented from the state and four states um, that's coming in. So it's 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 a lot bigger. Yeah. A lot bigger than last year. Yeah, so it'll be 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. both days. Both days. Um, and so there'll be, uh, we know that the Expo Idol, the preliminary competition has been ongoing for the last uh, month and a half, couple months, something yes, like that. Smart. And then the actual Expo Idol will be Friday night. Is that right? Correct. Okay. From, from 7 to 10. Okay. Be on the main stage. We have 14 outstanding vocalists who are going to be competing for the 2024 Capital Expo Idol mm-hmm. title. Yeah. So, I, I mean, you're all in for a treat. I I, I kind of feel sorry for the judges just a little bit because yeah. it's going to be a real hard decision. Every one of them are great. It is tough. <laughs> so, so you've you've been able to to hear a lot of the absolutely. The um, I've, I've been uh, well, I'm part. I'm over that. So I've been to every prelim yeah, yeah. and I've met some amazing folks just this year. They, every location we had amazing singers. It was really hard to bring it down to just two at each location. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, it was definitely a treat this year. I'm very thankful for the folks that turned out and, and competed. And we, we had a great time, guys. I mean, we, we uh, showcased our local talent. We uh, supported our preliminary sponsors. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't know if I can share those real quick. Can I oh, share sure. those? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we had our first uh, prelim at Parlays, mm-hmm. uh, the Brick Alley, Roses, uh, me, Fiesta, and Miguel's. And without them, we wouldn't be able to do this yeah, event. So I yeah. want to give them a big shout out and say thank you. And then this year, our title sponsor, who is our award sponsor, is Expre Credit Union. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and, and again, without the support of our uh, local businesses, we wouldn't be able to bring this to you. But I'm going to tell you, we're going to make some dreams come true on a Friday night, giving these uh, 14 individuals an opportunity to to be that Friday night entertainment yeah, for Capital yeah. Expo Show their talent. and oh, yeah. and completely get get their moment yeah their moment of fame up there so I'm excited to be a part of that and looking forward to it and, and so what do they uh, what do they win I suppose if at the end of the night on Friday night if if they're crowned the sort of Capital Expo Idol 2024. Well, they've already they're already a winner because right. they're going through. But yeah, they, they yeah. also first place won seventy five dollars at prelims. Okay, and second nice. place fifty bucks. Yeah. Um, at finals, the first place will be five hundred. Nice. Second place is three hundred and fifty, I believe, and then third place is <laughs> yeah. one hundred and fifty. Oh, yeah. no, I, okay. I believe. I apologize. I didn't do my homework this yeah. morning. But it five hundred first place. I believe three hundred fifty second and a hundred. 50 for third nice yeah and, and credit to those people who went out there and, and competed and tried to make it through the preliminaries it's it's one thing to go and do karaoke at miguel's or, or parlays or something and then if you make it through like the next stage is you're on you're on the big stage you are <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the thing about finals that was different from um prelims is that prelims they had a monitor just like you would at karaoke mm-hmm. 
uh, Friday night there is no monitor, and they have that entire stage oh, wow. to entertain the crowd. <laughs> so the judges will be looking, you know, for that that entertainment factor and overall. Yeah, yeah, maybe performance and vocals. So yeah, right. Yeah, it's maybe if you're doing karaoke, you don't have a ton of space on the little stage to to move around and entertain. But yeah, it's a it's a bit of a different different calling. <laughs> that Absolutely, you're asking to do something different. And yeah. and these folks know what they signed up for because we we told them it was like this is your moment. So they're they're oh, yeah. excited, looking Absolutely. forward to it. Uh, so, so the expo this year um, is on Second uh, Street, and we want to remind folks that that yeah, there, there's a graphic there on your screen about what <clears throat> where the the whole expo will be taking place there on Second uh, Street, and uh, starts off there that corner of Capitol Avenue. Um, so it's a little little different from last year, but looking forward to it, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, it was a uh, it's still a struggle. Um, <laughs> But it's new, you know, yeah, we're, we're yeah. trying to adjust. We're still trying to figure out the electric. and. Uh, but I think before I come on, we've got all that taken care of, so we're ready to, we're ready to go. Okay, good. <laughs> that's good to hear. And then um, uh, do, do you guys want to talk about the Children's Festival that's on Saturday? The Children's Festival is from 10 to 2, and um, they'll be doing lots of things, um, face painting. The Sheriff's Office is going to be there doing real IDs. Um, Paul Abilities is going to be there. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Foam Party. Um, it's a spray foam that they th okay. throw out and kids yeah. can play, play in it. it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We had it at my place one time. And it was a huge success. And um, they're going to be there. The sand arts and stuff like that. It's all going to be going on right there at the pick pack, old pick pack building. Mm -hmm. nice. And you know what? How much does that cost? Zero. <laughs> F R E E, folks, free. That's right. Yeah. Every bit of expo is free. Nice. Come on down. Well, I mean, not everything, like the food and well, yeah, you gotta, I mean, yeah, is but, free. But you can come down. But there's for free. no admission to get into the expo. It's Absolutely. important to remind folks about that. Yeah. Yeah. And also, we have the carnival that will be starting um, on Thursday from five to ten, I think. Um, and Thursday night. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Becky, but that is what we the, um, bill as family night where you can buy the wristbands. For $20. For 20 bucks, and you can ride oh, all yeah. night. Oh, cool. Um, 20 bucks. We just want to make sure that gets out um, so people can bring their families down and maybe save yeah. a little bit of money doing okay. it that way. Thursday and, night. And where, Thursday where night. are the rides located? Where is the They are behind the VFW okay. um, downtown over the mm -hmm. bank on river bank mm -hmm. um matter of fact they've already the bank. <laughs> well, down on the bank <laughs> but right. um yeah. they're already set up um they've been setting up all week so yeah. okay yeah good deal cool well uh well i'm looking forward to that that the expo is happening on uh friday and saturday night and you mentioned the carnival kicks off thursday night day early mm -hmm. um and then uh we're looking forward to uh having lots of folks downtown on second street and enjoying Expo this week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, and we, we have the car show okay. um, on Friday tournament. night. Um, cornhole tournament on Saturday afternoon. A blood drive. Billy Knopf, that's a memorial, memorial. drive. Um, Billy Knopf, it was such an integral part for the expo for so many years. Um, he comes up just about in every meeting um, that yeah, we have. Yeah, he was amazing. Um, so um, come down and support that. And um, and will there be there be live music on the Saturday? Yes, as well? all okay. day long. Like all day. That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. Well, we start music on the th uh, Friday afternoon. Yeah. Uh, Eleven yeah. o'clock. I think. Yeah. And we okay. will also have an opening ceremony at six thirty right. on Friday, just before um, the uh, uh, Expo mm -hmm. Idol finals begin. Absolutely. We we will have last year's winner singing uh, the national anthem. Oh, cool. Olivia McCants will be there. Okay. Nice. She will also be singing. Um, in between some of the rounds at, at Idol, so yeah. um, an amazing vocalist, so she'll be there too. So nice, yeah. And just a reminder for everybody out there that so uh, Second Street is all Expo uh, all weekend, so closed from mm, the morning seven a.m. seven a.m. on Friday, and Friday. I think it's a misprint in the paper. The paper said it was going to be shut down till Sunday night at midnight. I think it will be taken down Saturday, sun, Sunday maybe. morning. Sunday morning. Uh, Sunday morning. Sunday morning okay. at 6 a.m. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's going to be exciting. Uh, lots of stuff uh, and, you know, uh, music all weekend. Uh, going to have the carnival going down there. Everything on one street. I think it's going to be good. And, and um, 
Yeah, appreciate you guys coming in. Yeah, just a sh- quick mm-hmm. shout out. Um, yeah. Ricky Johnson's lost. Um, he's over the um, the car show. He lost his wife last week, and we'd like to give condolences out. Absolutely. To him. Oh, yeah. 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 Prayers yeah, for, for his sure. family. Yeah.